Hey, good morning, thrill seekers. Uh, I wanted to show you something. I'm really concerned. Ten people have already turned their problems, their uh, final space in, and nobody, lots of them didn't do question one. Most people did question two, some correctly, some not correctly. Uh, two things I want to touch on, though. Unit rate is, it could either be seconds per balloon or balloons per second, right? It's got a member that Rady the rat, the math cat. So you need to and not just have an answer. I'll give you a tiny partial credit if you just put an answer out there. You got to explain your thinking. Questions one and three are about explaining your thinking. I need some words. But here's where the big problem is. Nobody, and I'm saying nobody did question number four, which makes me know that I need a little, give you a little bit of help. So I'm going to double click on that. Let me show you how I did that again. Uh-oh. Double click on that. And it makes it big. Now you see I've already been playing on it. So maybe that's not fair. Let me um, show you what I did. I'll just, um, I wish I could have some uh, a blank one, but I've already messed with this. So um, all I did to create this, this here is, uh, and same with this, I just clicked on them. Like if you click on that, you can change that back around so that you can write on it without going a little crazy. And I just changed the words on there so that I've given you, if you watch this video, I've shown you how to do the x-axis. I'm going to try to fix that uh, there. You see, I threw my balloons away because I didn't need them. You can keep your balloons. You can make more balloons, whatever. Time is in seconds. And so I just really, what I did here, I decided five would be a good interval. I didn't want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just used that. Ten would be okay. But a lot of you would only have 10 and 20. So uh, I made these little dots. And uh, after I finished this, I just kind of guessed where that would be. Um, you can make a line, put it wherever you want. Probably the line has to do with where your dots are. So if it's five seconds, I know five here matches up with 25 over here. So you're going to have to put in the numbers. This is how you make your graph. Don't forget to change the title of your graph. This is how you make your graph. So I see a lot of people are stuck on that. Um, I Maybe I'm going to, I would probably make a dot. I just went up here and selected something. If they had something that was a balloon, I actually, I did see somebody with a balloon um, in the other, other class. So maybe I, maybe I, do you see a balloon here? Oh, here's a happy face. Maybe I want mine to look like little happy faces. So, and then I'm going to make a bunch of copies. Control D, D, oops, Control C, and then V, V. I got to click on it. Control D is how I'm doing that. And then I'm going to put those where I want them to go. And so 5 is at 25 and 10 is at, I don't know how many you got at 10, 50. I didn't know what you got. So um, that's how you do this. That's how you make a graph. So uh, be sure to have a graph because you'll get a 1 on your representations on your rubric without it. So if there's any questions, please let me know.